and then uh, these were the features of the Z-Line pump at the concept level. It created a completely new image. Everybody was very happy within the company. The sloping column, remember in form and aesthetics, what was my brief? My brief was to design a new look petrol pump. And all the pumps were boxy. To create a new look, we had to come up with a dynamic shape. And electronic product, remember? Electronic product had to have a, it's a new animal, right? A mechanical product is a mechanical product. Electronic product is an electronic product. So your whole you know, design has to be very different. So how can you show high-tech look in a product? So we took cues from TVs and radios and all and we said we need to have a display which is very very prominent and which is good. So we have that display which came up that's called the high-tech look of the palm. Because the display and when the display glows in the night, it makes it look very high-tech. Then we also came up with this modular assembly. The hydraulics was assembled separately in the hydraulics division of Larsen and Tubro. And the electronics was assembled in earlier pump. It was together. It was so difficult because electronics needs different type of equipment, different type of clean rooms, different type of systems. Whereas hydraulics needs different tanks, a lot of testing happening with the fuel before you put on. So it's quite messy over there. So we did modular design very early. So you could you know get very good sort of uh, details over there. And then uh, we got a pilot production order from one one product from each company, the Bharat Petroleum, the uh, IBP, the Indian Oil, and then the uh, Hindustan Petroleum. All of them gave one one order saying that for pilot production, we'll give you only one order. One piece is very difficult to manufacture. But LNT being LNT, they said we will you know spend all the money. If you make, for example, if the product cost is say one lakh rupees, if you have to produce one piece, how much will it cost? Ten lakh rupees. That is the issue of mass production. So we spent 10 times the cost because we had to make inroads into the market. So LNT had this large CNC turret punching uh, machines. Their accuracy was 0 0.01 millimeter. And then we had convenience for the station, the secondary users. In fact, earlier, you know what used to happen? The station, the petrol pump owners had to come to the pump, open the panel, put a torch and read this display, which is to be read in the morning and in the evening. How much petrol was sold during the day in his shift? But we said our, ter our secondary users also are important. So what we did, we moved it up and we had a nice display for him. So he can just come to the pump and read in the morning and go. So user convenience for every user is very critical. Here we just used, you know, creative ideation from car industry. Lift the bonnet. So we lifted the bonnet. And we fitted the carts like a computer industry. If the cart gets out of order, you can replace it in 15 minutes flat. Early it used to take three hours. So just imagine the amount of loss to the company station owner if he can't operate a pump for three hours. So this became a very, very you know, uh, important feature in the pump, easy maintenance. Then we had some excellent painting systems in Larsen and Tubro, which were inline painting. We used to have automatic painting lines. So very good you know, uh, painting lines were there. We had great manpower, as I told you, very, very skilled manpower for machine parts and pumps and motors and all were phenomenally done. And then we were very, very happy that we could come up with our first pilot production. You can even see the pellet here. This is coming out of the pilot production from the factory floor. So now after the pilot production, we installed all of them, all the five in five different locations in Bombay. And all the company owner executives went and saw them and they were all very, very happy. especially because it had a new look. It had a lot of these interesting features. So out of the five companies, Bharat Petroleum immediately placed an order. Again, a pilot order, but large order of around 200 petrol pumps. So when I talked about the innovation flower, it is not just because of my shape and my, you know, like user interface that my product was innovative. No, that petal manufacturing technology that Every petal had phenomenal amount of in-depth understanding because I'm doing design, uh, innovation by design, showing only the design story. But I need to tell you about the other aspects which are very critical. And this electronic development was phenomenal. The, the type of development our uh, the engineers did in our uh, division, electronics division was very good. And this particular, you know, like uh, uh, electronic carts were very robust and you know, very little failure uh, in the field. And then we had large scale deployment, like as soon as Bharat Petroleum sort of gave an order, we put up these pumps all over, you know, uh, all over the country. So what are the key, you know, points? You can clearly see that we use very little sheet metal, right? 
the shape itself demanded we used 40 percent less sheet metal than the earlier box then we had you know a very convenient user display panel which was wide angled so what happens when the display is wide angle you can see from large angles the angle of vision is larger and the innovative shape made the pump look inviting we also had multiple displays that is one display running in rupees and another display for running in liters so we had very good chips which could actually run your pump on both so we have a button there say that if you want to buy for rupees 100 you could actually you know rather than buying in liters you could buy for 100 that was the first time lnt introduced it now it's very common practice but at that time it was very new and then we also had a three display where you have the rupees the liters and the rate of petrol coming in you know whenever you design a product you need to have multiple variants so the costs were higher of course but there was a chance for the oil companies to have differentiation in the cities and in the rural areas or whatever they want to do so that they can have much better uh, systems in place and then what we were very very happy that within within two years lnt main went into leadership position the competition was wiped out there was phenomenal cost to feature design became the largest selling pump and what was surprising was that the customers demanded for z-line pump from the oil companies they said we want only z-line and then the biggest satisfaction came when i was in the company and i read this you know uh, bharat petroleum uh, internal magazine and uh, the customers thought they got better petrol and better quantity correct quantity of petrol from the z-line so that is the perception they got so now just imagine a shape can be related to perception right so whenever they went to a z-line petrol pump they got better petrol and better measure and they did get better measure of course because we, we did a lot of technology inside we had you know special technologies to prevent cheating so we did a lot of those you know small improvements as i told you like from the innovation model and then because the shape was new the product was new people also thought they got better quality petrol and that was a you know great satisfaction for us in the company and then you know as you you know rightly we discussed the unique shape you know gave it leadership position and you know much better maintenance access from the top and from the side in fact the sensors are located over here the sensors so when you open this box out even you have very good access to sensors and maintenance and within three years when we went to school for a survey and we asked children to draw petrol pumps the children were drawing the z line so that becomes a very important aspect of semantic change so people registered that you know as the you know major shape because it's a unique shape so when you do the collaborative teaming you are you know surely bound to be successful and come up with innovative products in the market and then by using you know these things the pumps everywhere we could see scales and scales of pump coming up the displays were easy they were you know demand for more and more all new stations would you know uh, put up our pump and you know like uh, it's now installed all over the country it is like nearly 1700 pumps displayed but now it's out of market and we will you know understand how uh, you know uh, we uh, close this i think the product it went out of production in 2001 we gave five years life so lnt kept selling till uh, till uh, 10 years 10 to 11 years they kept on you know selling because when the pro pro uh, product is popular they don't actually take it out of the market so that became a uh, very very uh, sort of uh, successful and the company also turnover grew nearly four to five times in the petrol pump sector itself and it was a real uh, you know uh, case study on innovation where the customer accepted it finally and that's why we call it innovation and there are large scale deployment across the uh, across the country and on top of it very critical aspect was that we had the users basically you know uh, at multiple levels were satisfied the primary user the secondary users and the tertiary user all of them were having something in the pump which was valuable for them